Goring man comes to his senses on bed in a concrete chamber chamber type and sees the old man Shimagashi sitting on the opposite wall intently looking at him. Grandpa says that this is level 48, the month has just begun and the main question is what they will eat. The food of the heroes will be the miserable remnants of the meal after those who are above them. Goring approaches the edge of a rectangular holes that are lined in the middle of a makeshift punishment cell and looks down. It turns out that under them there are still a huge number of levels, on each of which has its own pair of inhabitants. Looking up here and makes sure that there are also many floors with people. Trimagashi tells his cellmate about how the pit works. That's what they call this multi-story windowless prison, pierced through by rectangular failure. It's about food. Sometimes it is easy to get it, and sometimes it is almost impossible. It all depends on the level you are at. They, sitting only on the 48th, are still very lucky. Goring tries to communicate with people from the lower floors, but the old man advises not to do this, just like trying to talk to those above them. Trimagashi has been in the pit for many months and knows that it will be better this way. When asked about how long the stay at this level will last, the grandfather replies that it is exactly a month and asks to leave him behind. Suddenly, the red lamp above the floor numbers goes out and the same one lights up. Green and after a few seconds a rectangular platform descends, precisely matching the size of the holes in the middle of the floor and ceiling. On it are the leftovers from the dinner of the inhabitants of the upper floors and an old man with greed pounces on writing. Goring looks at this site with disgust and begins a simple calculation. If there are 47 more levels on top, then 94 people ate these dishes before them. The man refuses to eat leftovers from the platform. Meanwhile, the well-fed old man loosens his tongue and says that by the end of the month there will be fewer people left in the pit. Previously, he himself did not understand why this was so, until one day he got to the elite level 8. Goring takes an apple from the table. The table goes down and Trimogashi spits lusciously on it. On the question is why, and if the upper inhabitants did so, the grandfather replies that most likely already done. Suddenly, the man notices that the cell has become noticeably hotter. The old man says that if he does not throw away the apple, only ashes will remain of them, because you can only eat when the platform is here, otherwise the temperature will either rise to death of inmates, or reduce to the same result. Goring throws out the apple. The hero remembers how he signed the consent to the experiment. You could take one thing with you and he chose a book. Then he tells his colleague in misfortune the reason for which he ended up in the pit. Goring is a volunteer who wanted to quit smoking and got some kind of certificate in exchange for staying here for six months. At night, the hero almost dies because of his own curiosity. It turns out during sleep, an empty platform with great speed returns to the top. On the second day, the man again ignores the leftovers, but spins the Eichimogashi into conversation. He tells why he is in the hole. The old man got here because of an unfortunate set of circumstances. He was so pissed off by TV commercials that he threw a crate out of a window in a rage and killed an immigrant who was walking downstairs. Grandfather was given a choice, psychiatric clinic or this place. From the conversation, Goring also learns that there are much more than 132 levels in the pit since Trimagossi lived on it and did not see the bottom. Food so does not reach low at all, but you can stretch even more than a month because on each level has two people. Grandfather hints at cannibalism. A man tries to pass on to the neighbor's level so that they consume food wisely, and from below they are offended that they were not left with wine. With the words, Here's the dem scum wine for you, the old man relieves a small need in the hole. To the dumbfounded Goring, he explains that the lower ones should know their place. When asked what item Trimogashi took with him, he shows a knife. The starving man nevertheless joins the old man's meal on the third day of his life in the pit. A man who has gone crazy from the monotonous life on the upper level flies past them. Trimagasi says that the average levels are the most optimal in order not to die of hunger and not to go crazy, like this poor fellow. The old man in brief tells what floors he lived on. Goring suggests that in fact hungry 132nd grandfather killed and ate his cellmate. A woman descends on the platform Mahara's Asian appearance. Old man tells that she is looking for her child before every departure downstairs. 
she kills her cellmate to increase the chances that her son will be her new cellmate next month. Mahar sinks down and a couple of men want to take her away as a sex slave for a while. The Asian kills them and returns to the platform. Meanwhile, Trimagashi tells how survived on the ground floor. He did not kill his partner. He just served his entire term, but they ate the corpse of a man who fell from above. A month later, Gas is released into the cell and Goring wakes up on the 171st level, bound and securely fixed on the bed. The crazy old man says that this is his precaution and his chance to survive. Awakened in the neighboring levels, people scream in horror, realizing how low they are, and a few of the most desperate rush into the hole. The platform descends, even without bones and with clean licked dishes. Trimagashi tells the hero that in a week he will begin to separate pieces of meat from a living man and invites Goring to eat his own flesh. On the second week, the starving madman begins to cut meat from the man's thigh. Maho suddenly comes down on the platform and injures the old man. Taking the knife at the woman Goring brutally finishes grandfather and they feed on his corpse. However, soon the mother in search of the child follows below. Weakened man of the month lives with the decomposed body of a former cellmate, eating cadaverous larvae and talking with the ghost of the murdered. After some time, Goring wakes up at the 33rd level in the company the women of Imojiri and her dog. He says that taking a dog with you is a bad idea, because everyone will see it only as food. She retorts that the hero also acted idiotically, taking the book with him. It turns out Imojiri is the one who interviewed the man in front of the pit. She asked to be here. Employees call this facility a vertical self-service center. According to the woman in this hellish place of 200 levels, if people on each floor took food as much as they need, there would be enough food for everyone. The pit was created as a social experiment, in the hope that a spontaneous sense of solidarity will arise in it and everyone will survive, after which the experiment will end and the prisoners will be released. To live and eat a portion of one person, the woman and the dog take turns eating. Goring learns from her that there are no children here, everything participants in the experiment age 16 years. But the hero remembers Maho and her child. Imojiri places to small portions on plates and asks the people below not to overeat, only eat this, and do the same for the next ones. They retort that they return from the 88th level and send her away. Hero again once meets Mihara, who's strongly wounded. The inmates leave her for night to heal. Imojiri tells that the Asian was selected 10 months ago. She is an orphan actress and she does not have any child. By the way, Mihara came here of her own free will. After some time, the hero is at the 202nd level. Imojiri hanged herself, realizing that there were more flaws in the pit than she thought. Her body is a gift for Goring's survival, but now two ghosts have settled in the man's head. A month later, fate brings him to the sixth level, and the African-American Barrett turns out to be a companion who jumps for happiness. How incredibly lucky they are. Goring invites the cellmate to make a weapon and go down on the platform to the very bottom, along the way giving everyone exactly a serving of food. He counted about 250 levels, and an honest sharing of food supposedly breaks the system. Heroes make out of bad clubs and start risky event, and the first 50 levels of food are not given at all, since they are full and will calmly survive the day of fasting. In order for the administration at the upper zero level to understand that the experiment was a success, the inmates decide to leave on the platform. When she begins her rapid ascent, the message, the Italian dessert panna cotta, there are even more levels than Goring counted. However, after many cells filled with only corpses, they see two healthy men attacking Mehara. The heroes kill them, having been injured, but they do not have time to save the Asian. 300 level 33 Goring and Baharat find her baby under the bed. A girl, about 5 years old, and they feed her the only thing left, dessert. The thought comes to the man that Mahara's daughter is the best message for the pit administrators. At night, Baharat, seriously wounded in battles, dies, and Goring and the girl sink to the very bottom, and he himself goes into the darkness in the company of the ghost of the old man Trimagashi. The girl on the platform flies up.